and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today to show you the all new 2020. This is the Solitude 385 GK, meaning Grand Kitchen. However, this is the full body paint version. This is just one of uh, three different colors that they have. For more information on this particular camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul the Air Force guy, but let's get on to this camper. So when you're looking at the front, nice big um, molded fiberglass front cap, kind of hard to see in the daylight, the LED light strips that are following down through the sides. They also have one down here by your hitch. Gives you a little bit more light when you're backing up under it in the evening. Now down underneath what you're going to notice is that you can get it prepped for an LP generator or you can choose not to. It, it does have a connection port right here. This would be for a solar, solar panel if you elected to. And this is for the lights on the front. This is going to be for the battery, which is on the inside here. So they put the battery and that's where it vents to. Be sure that when you're when you're taking delivery on one of these, make sure that somebody explains the Swintec slide motor, well the actually brains to the motors right there to explain the importance and how to utilize those in the case that you need them. And that's right up underneath here. Now on the off door side, what you're going to have is, of course, you have an LP bottle on either side. They're going to be right in, one to be mounted here, and one's on the other side. And then you have your automatic switch over, and the reading thing is right up in this area. This is where you're able to point which, which one you're, it's going to reading, as well as um, be able to tell whether or not it has LP in it or not. Now, the doors are storage, massive doors here, tons of storage. And the nice thing with these doors is that when you open them, now you want to be careful on this particular one because you can see that it is covering both the furnace and your water heater. If you were to leave this thing open with those on, you are going to damage the paint. So just be aware of that. So when you get these doors open, look at how massive that storage is. Now you're going to have access to the storage from either side, and this is heated under here as well. Now this is where you're going to be hooking your water up also going to be emptying your tanks, black tank rinse, outside shower, hook up your cable, hook up your uh, satellite if you wish. Now I know this looks to be confusing with the cable and satellite, but it's real simple. Right here is where you would go ahead and hook up cable. That'll go to every uh, cable connection in the coach. If you elected to do satellite, you have to do one, this is living room, bedroom, and then of course you'll have for underneath out here. So a little bit uh, complicated, uh, just trying to explain that to you there, make it a little bit easier. Really once you look at it, it is simplified actually. They do a great job with that. As they do with the water connection. I know people look at that and they kind of get confused, but if you just look at the diagrams for each thing that you want to do, it makes it very, very simple. If you're going to dry camp, you just put the, uh, each lever according to that. If you're city water, so on and so forth. So your city water connection, black tank rinse, and then this light switch right here, what that does is in the evening, you'll have these blue lights up underneath your slide out. That way there makes it a little bit more visible, doesn't attract the bugs, and hopefully then you're not going to hit your head. Now you do have the out, outside water filter in here. And of course your uh, tank poles there and your low point drains. Notice how it's also heated into this area. Now if you wanted to add some additional heating, you do have 110 outlets in here. And you could put another ceramic heater or something in there if, if it was extreme weather. Now, they take and put your hydraulic leveling system right here. Nice thing with these doors is notice how they're magnetically held open. So it's not going to be flapping in the wind, but this also brings this out here. So as you're hooking up to your vehicle, as you can see where I'm standing, makes it very easy for you to be operating your jacks and backing it up underneath of your camper. Now you have one area that's going to be dumping from, so both your gray tanks and your black tank are going to be dumping here. Now one thing, you know, everybody says that they have a four season camper. A lot of people say, you know, they have the heated underbelly, 
with the uh, heat being blown and everything, but take a look underneath. And what I want you to take a look at is how they attach the underbelly to this framing. Notice how they're using a steel, they're using a, um, use a metal strip here, and then they're using the bolts. And what that gives you, that is not gonna get sagging in between the two bolts, as you can see. Much more secure way of attaching the underbelly to the bottom of your RV. Now your freshwater drain, you can see it's a nice big hose and then you have the blue, uh, a nice big opening. And then of course you have the blue for the overflow. When you fill your uh, fresh water tank, it'll overflow right there. Under the, underneath you also have your spare tire. And it's conveniently located towards the back and hopefully you won't be the one getting it out from under here. Now on the back you're going to notice your ladder, it's wired and framed for a rear observation camera by Furion. You don't have a bumper back here, you have a hitch receiver, that way there you can go ahead and put, you know, mother-in-law seat, something back here to carry additional uh, cargo and so forth. But if you needed to go ahead and plug something in, notice how they're giving you the four-way plug if you needed to add additional lighting. Now because there is no bumper, they did put a sewer hose connection right up underneath. And that's probably going to be more secure than a bumper anyway. Now on your door side, you notice you have two slide outs on this side as well as two on the other side. But notice you also have two awnings. You've got the slide toppers to cover the tops of your slides. Now with these awnings coming out, you're also going to have uh, outside awning lights, outside stereo speakers. You've got two different uh, lighting lights out here. You have one that's more of a floodlight one that's a uh, the orange porch light if you want to call it that now for your steps because you do have the nice steps these are solid steps here so you don't get any uh, shaking of the camper when you're going in and out but now you won't want to rinse them off when you're going to put them away and they take and you can use the same hose that you use for your outside shower you just plug it in right there and you're able to rinse off your steps before you put them away right above that again one, you have 110 outlets. Notice how your doors, your entrance door, as well as these uh, cargo doors here, where they opened, they're being held open by magnets, so they're not gonna be swinging around in the wing on, wind on you. Now, by having this second awning, the benefit there is it's not, it's coming off of the slide out instead of covering the slide out. The benefit there is gonna give you more room underneath the awning. So let's get on inside here. So I mentioned about these steps here being solids, but then one thing before you go in, when you're looking at these solitudes, check out these sidewalls on the slide outs. They're actually laminated sidewalls, where some of the other manufacturers, if you, could, if you hit on them, you might notice that they're soft because it is not a laminated wall. It's not gonna give you the sa same structural integrity, nor is it gonna give you the same insulation factor. So let's come in here and take a, take a quick preview of this. So as you first come in the door, this is going to be where your pantry is, as well as, well not your pantry, actually it's going to be more like a closet. You could put a washer and dryer in there if you wanted to. You can see it's already plumbed and wired and everything for you. Notice the lighting in there. And then this could be your, this is actually your pantry area. Now you could put both pantry, you could use both for pantry if you wanted to. But this gives you a look at how much space you have inside of there. Now also up here, a lot of your controls, generator, checking your plugs, uh, all, all the levels everywhere, putting awnings out, slides out, turning your tank heaters on, water heater, water pump, and it makes it easy and convenient for, for you to get to all your breakers and fuses and notice how they're all nicely labeled now if you wanted to you could actually have a dishwasher installed here and you would just lose that cabinet so that is where it is prepped it is prepped for a dishwasher you can order it with it or they can put it in after the fact 
Now, check out, what you'll see these inside of um, the Solitudes. Check them out, I have a lot of good information in here. This is a wide body. Most other fifth wheels out there, if you're looking at them, may only be eight foot wide. This is meaning 96 inches wide on the exterior. This is 101 inches wide. It's gonna give you an extra five inches of space on the floor inside here. And then the, the slide outs may be a couple inches wider due to the fact that you have a wider floor. Now, staying with the island here, so you have a lot of island space, you're going to also notice that you have a 70-30 sink, which is nice. So there's your 70, good size sink, nice high-rise faucet that'll swivel for you and pull out, and there's your 30. Notice how there's a lot of light on that, and that's because you have up above, you have a little um, power vent fan right there. Now, that power vent fan, you can put a cover on it to lessen the light coming through it, also to allow you to use it in the rain. So you also, you're gonna have three drawers here. You notice nice deep drawer. And then of course you're gonna have two others. Notice how hard it was for me to pull that out of there. They do stay closed quite nicely. And under your sink, good storage here. And of course you're gonna have some shelving there. So that is under the sink area of the island. Now being daylight makes it a little bit more difficult, but this does have the LED lights around the island, which will make it nice, um, cut the lighting down, you know, if you're watching a movie or so forth. They also have it up above, you can see the island for the ceiling there. Now this has the 18 cubic foot RV refrigerator. Nice thing with it is that you do have actual airflow in here. So it's 18 cubic foot, but you also have in the freezer, you're going to notice you're going to have an ice maker. Now, the nice thing with that kind of ice maker is most people are not drinking the water when they're at the campsite. So the benefit of having that is you're going to use your bottled water and you'll actually be able to use your ice cubes. So the cabinet right next to the refrigerator before you get to the stove, this is where you're going to have your, your trash cans. And then, of course, notice you have the Furion three-burner cooktop. Nice window back behind it, so you have, uh, you have food prep area on the left and the right of your cooktop, as well as a good size oven. See, it has a good size oven there. And then on the other side of your oven, as you can see, you have drawers that pull out, so you're able to put some pots and pans and different things in that area. Now this is your area where you're going to have your fireplace down below. The TV's up above there. And the TV, to raise the TV, all you're going to do is you're just going to be pushing this button up here. And as you can see, the TV just comes right on up. So when you're sitting down watching TV, You've got the TV you can see, and we're directly across from it in the theater seating, or if you're in the sofa, you'd be lounging in that sofa looking right up at that TV. But when you're not using that TV, then you have the window space behind it. Now, something a lot of people don't know about is the fact that right here, this is a little storage area. So as you can see, so you keep the remotes, keep some things out of, out of sight, out of mind there. Folds up quite nicely. And of course, when you put the TV back down, then of course you have that window back behind you. Now you have storage above the TV in two of the cabinets. Your power antenna booster is going to be right back here. So you have another 110 outlet up there, or if you want to put some additional, um, you know, if, if, if you have a Blu-ray player you want to put up there, because well, we do have a DVD player, but it's not a Blu-ray. There's your AM, FM, CD stereo with a DVD player. Also has an HDMI connection, as well as headphone jack. Now coming back down through the kitchen here, you can see they do give you a convection microwave. Most other places or other manufacturers, when they give you a, an oven, they just give you a regular microwave. Storage right next to it, you're gonna have storage above it, and then of course the same amount of storage on that cabinet. But look at that counter space that you have between that side as well as your island. 
Now on the back here, this is a tri-fold sofa, and that's will open up almost to like a, a queen-size bed. It's gonna be a short queen, but it'll be there. And on either side, you're gonna notice you're gonna have 110 outlets, as well as the USB charging ports for your phones. And then of course, you notice you have your little um, end tables. On top of that, you're gonna have the storage with the smoked windows. Nice thing with the, with the windows there. Look at how deep that cabinet is. And they go all the way across. So that's how much storage you have up above the back there. Just want to give you another look from another vantage point here. Once you see what it looks like here. Now I know some people are concerned when you see a, uh, an air conditioner right here which is right in front of the TV. My recommendation is to go ahead and get somebody to plug it in so you can hear how this is not that noisy. The benefit of this kind of an air conditioner is the fact that you have the quick cool feature. So if you want to cool down this room quickly, you can. When you have the other manufacturers that are giving you um, a, a return maybe on this side and another one on this side, you have no way of quick cooling the area. So that's a benefit there. Now I showed you this power, power vent fan here earlier. It does have a rain sensor on it, but the problem with that, if that sensor is wet and it's not raining, it will not open. So you put a cover on it, you can do it. You can actually use it. Now the important thing you have to remember when using this fan is that you have to have a window or door open because it will be pulling air through. So just remember to do that. Now the theater seating here, you do have, there are power seats, which makes it nice. Then you have the nice seating area in the middle, so if you have a grandchild who wants to sit up there or give you some arm room, and you have the cup holders there as well. Now, great windows here. I kind of have the shades so that it'll actually uh, not hurt the lighting for the inside, but good windows on your camping side. Now, with the, with the table here, notice it doesn't have any legs, so you're not going to be hitting your feet on anything or your knees on anything. And then you're going to have two chairs that are folding, so they're not permanent. And then the two chairs that are, that are permanent type chairs, they actually have storage back underneath the cushions. The ones that fold up and put away, they do not. Notice how you have a table extension there. And then you do have a 110 outlet back in between your dinette and where your theater seating is. Okay, so as we're going up the steps here, you're going to notice you have a little cubby, so you can knock some shoes under there if you want. Your uh, central vac is going to be right there. Notice how there's a handle and a nice big window as you're going up through the hallway here. You're going to be coming into the bathroom first. Notice it's a pocket door, which gives you a lot more room to get in and out of here. But then notice how it's a step down into the, into the shower. So it's giving you almost a little tub shower, if you will. You can sit down in there, and then of course by, by it being some uh, down below the floor line, you actually have, for your taller people, you're gonna have more clearance in there. You have the glass doors here. Now something I recommend is because if in fact this thing were to break, that those glass doors would be sliding all over the place. Recommendation, get yourself some pieces of wood, some little one buys, and put them in this track just like you would in a in your home for a sliding glass door, just as added protection while traveling. Adequate room in front of the toilet here, and then behind the toilet, look at all that storage you have. Nice big storage area here in the bathroom. And then in the medicine cabinet, again, adequate storage, good size sink, good size counter space, and then you have additional stores down below here, as well as a drawer. Now, as you come in the bedroom, this particular one has a queen bed in it. I'm just going to pan the room a little bit, give you an idea of what you're looking at. You do have extra storage over here. So it's going to give you nice little storage there, as well as below. And that's because you don't have a walk-through bathroom that gives you that extra storage. 
Now for the bed, you're gonna have a 110 outlet here, and you'll have another one on the other side up a little higher, but this is a queen bed. It is capable of putting a king bed in here, but notice you have windows all around it. You're able to sit up in bed. What I really love about what Grand Design does is look at how high that bed gets up out of the way. You got a place here you put your um, your jewelry and so forth, guns and ammo, and then this seat pulls out so that you're actually able to sit on it, and then there's actual storage down below. So that is, notice how high that gets up. So if I want to come over here and get, I'm out on my knees trying to get up underneath there. And as you can see with the bed, with the bed uh, down, you can still sit on this little um, pull out here. Nice dresser with six drawers, window above there for ventilation. Look at how tight it is to pull those drawers open. They actually have two holders on those. So you have six of those drawers. And then you're gonna have your walk-in closet. As you can see, your walk-in closet there. Nice storage. Now you don't have to worry about putting your washer and dryer up in this area because then it'll be a pain to try to get your clothes out of here. You have your own AC up in here. Now you can control the temperature right there. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Solitude 385 GK. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. Do appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for lots more coming up. Got an ebook, the specifications, my contact information down below this video. So I'll be back at you soon. Take care.